so this question says there is a balloon of volume 750 meter cube and uh, it has to be filled with hydrogen and, and kept at atmospheric pressure p1 is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascal now how do we fill the hydrogen atom is the hydrogen atom are stored in cylinders uh, and the cylinders each are of a volume uh, 1.9 meter cube and the gauge pressure of uh, the cylinder that is seen and seen on the gauze of the cylinder is 1.28 into 10 to the power 6 pascal well so since this is since this is uh, gauze pressure i would not write it p2 i will just write it pz and p2 will be determined as which implies p2 is equal to what p2 is the sum of gauze pressure and atmospheric pressure that that gives us the actual pressure so the actual pressure in the cylinder is 13.1 into 10 to the power 5 pascal now the question says how many cylinders are required to fill up these balloons now let let n cylinders are required okay so i suppose n cylinders are required then what are the number of most required n1 is equal to p1 v1 by rt since the temperature is same so i just write rt so what is the number of moles in each cylinder n2 is p2 v2 by rt now since n cylinders capital n cylinders since capital n cylinders each having n2 moles of gas will fill n1 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 moles of gas so what we can write is n1 should be capital n times n2 so if you equate these two you get p1 v1 is equal to n times p2 v2 because rt gets get cancelled out therefore n is equal to p1 v1 upon p2 v2 now just calculate this we have p2 we have p1 we have p2 we have p1 so if you calculate this this comes out to be 30.64 tanks well these many tanks are required to fill up that one balloon okay so let's move on to this is with part a of the question now let's move on to the next part that is b what is the total weight that can be supported by the balloon if the both the gas in the balloon and surrounding air are at 15 degrees celsius so the weight that can be supported by balloon depends upon the force due to with b and c suppose suppose in addition to its weight m mass is supported in addition to its weight okay apart from it its weight m mass is supported so how much weight does that balloon has to carry or apply the force that is mg for that m mass m then its own weight right so its own weight is what mass of that balloon into g now mass of that balloon is what volume of that balloon into density of the gas inside the volume that is hydrogen here right 
so density of hydrogen into G. Now, this weight to to uh, to support this all weight by the, for for the balloon, the balloon should uh, should have some force applied upwards, right? So that force is the center of sorry the force due to buoyancy, and that force due to buoyancy is uh, given by uh, the mass of air displaced into gravity. The mass of air displaced is equal to volume of air displaced into density into gravity. So volume of air displaced is the volume of balloon itself and density of air is rho A. Now this gives me the mass of air displaced and G is the gravity. Right? So what we want to determine is mg. So mg is equal to d1g rho a minus rho h. Now, the question has d1. The question, we know a lot of gravity g. Now, we know the question says that the density of air, let me write that here. Density of air is given as 1.23 kg per meter cube. So we don't know rho h. So how to determine rho h? So to determine rho h, we again use the ideal gas equation formulation that gives rho h is equal to P1 mass of hydrogen upon RT. RT1, it is the same. Though. So if you substitute the value in here, 1.01 into 10 to the power 5, a mass of hydrogen is 2.02 to 10 to the power minus 3. upon 8.314 into the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, right? So 288 Kelvin. So this comes out to be 0 0.0852 kg per meter cube. Right, so we found out the density of hydrogen here. So just plug these values in here. So we have B1, we have we have B1, we know the value of G, we know the value of rho A, we know the value of rho H. So just plug these all values in here and you get your answer, which is 8414.28 Newton. So this is the weight the balloon can support right let's move on to part c of the question now in c the question asks us about the weight that could be supported if hydrogen was replaced by helium now if hydrogen is replaced by helium then the changes comes out in rho h right so let us find here rho h e Again, rho he is equal to P1. Now, it is instead of mass mh, we have mhe, molecular mass of helium upon Rt1. Now, if you substitute molecular mass of helium to be mhe to be, where mhe is equal to 4 grams per mole. So, 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg per mole so if you substitute this mhl here mhe here to find out the density of helium rho he then you get this to be 0 0.169 kg per meter cube other thing that you can do very easily is that the molecular weight of helium is almost double 
to that of hydrogen. So since you can see from this equation, the density is directly proportional to molecular weight. So, uh, so the density will also be double for helium because the molecular weight is double. So double of 0 0.08 is 0 0.1617, right? 0 0.085 is 0 0.17. So it is nearly equal. So you can do that way as well. So we have already done this. Now for C part, the weight that can be supported is V1G times rho A minus rho HE by using helium. So V1 is again 750, G is again 9.8, density of air is 1 point, which is 1.23. This one m stay there like three minus zero point one six nine. So this gives me and z is equal to seventy eight hundred newton. Well, using helium gas will reduce the weight that can be supported. Okay, then this is the solution for the given question. Thank you for watching this.